hey, it's Darius. And I'm on the CPA exam Facebook groups every day, answering candidates' questions, trying to make difficult concepts easier. And you can join these Facebook groups and talk to me directly. You can get all your questions answered and maybe make a couple of friends along the way. And one of my Facebook groups is called The Amazing Women of I-75. It's a smaller, more intimate group, and men are allowed to join. But women run the group. The other group I'm with, you probably heard of, the CPA Exam Support and Tutoring Group, this group has over 7,000 members. So if you ask a lot of questions, this is the group for you. And someone asked in this group recently about partnership tax returns, and what you need to know about them for the CPA exam. So here's a video taken right out of the I-75 reg course. In this video, we're gonna do an overview of a partnership tax return, Form 1065. Partnerships must file a tax return, Form 1065, and when's it due? March 15th, a month before the 1040 is due. But partnerships do not pay any income tax with the filing of the partnership tax return. Any answer choice on the exam that says partnerships pay tax, that's the wrong answer. Don't pick it. Instead of partnerships paying tax, the partners report the income on their own individual 1040. And losses from the partnership would be deducted there on the 1040 as well. You'll hear the term pass-through entity or flow through entity and that just means that all income deductions tax credits would pass through from the partnership return on their way to the 1040 of each partner let's get our first look at the partnership tax return form 1065 now this says it's year 2022 but the partnership tax return hasn't changed in 50 or 60 years so it really doesn't matter what year the partnership return is because like we said it's informational only and the front page of the return is where the business income is reported you can see the gross sales on line one minus the cost of goods sold on line two is gross profit and then from the gross profit comes ordinary business deductions your ordinary business deduction starting on line nine like salaries and wages other than to partners. So this is salaries and wages of employees. So what if you and I were partners and we took a salary every month of $1,000 each? Well, that would not be on line nine. Partners are not considered employees of the partnership. So when you see salaries and wages, it has to be other than to partners in order to be deductible. If there are payments to partners, the only way they can be deducted is if they're guaranteed. Guaranteed means without regard to profits. So if you and I were partners and you were entitled to a guaranteed payment of $24,000, regardless of whether there's profits, then that payment would be deductible because it's guaranteed. But on the exam, they'd have to tell you that it was a guaranteed payment to the partner in order for that payment to the partner to be deductible. So let's say you got this $24,000 guaranteed payment. You would have to pick it up on your 1040 as income. I wouldn't have to pick it up because I'm not getting the guaranteed payment, but you'd have to pick it up and pay taxes on it because the partnership got to deduct it to arrive at ordinary business income. Notice how the partnership deducts it, 24,000, and then whoever the recipient partner is who gets the money, they'll pick it up as income. If we both got this money, 12,000 each, we both put it on our 1040s and pay tax on it. But if only you got the 24,000, then you'd have to pay the tax on all 24,000. What if it wasn't guaranteed? What if the exam just said the partners took $24,000 as a distribution out of the partnership? Then there would be no deduction for that. So let's say this 24,000 was not guaranteed but you took 12,000 during the year and I took 12,000 during the year because there were profits in the partnership. There was some extra cash and we each took a check, let's say for $12,000. What would happen there? No deduction on the partnership return 
and we wouldn't have to pick it up as income on our individual returns. And the reason for that is that partners pay tax on the income, the profits from the partnership, whether or not it's distributed, doesn't matter. The partners still have to pay the tax on the bottom line partnership income. And since the tax is being paid by the partners based on that income earned by the business, then any profit distributions to the partners are normally tax free. A distribution is a payment of partnership profits to the partner. And since the profits are already being taxed, we said at the partner level, the profit distribution would not be taxed to the partner to tax. It would result in double taxation and there's no double taxation in partnership tax in partnership tax. Profits are only taxed one time at the partner level. Therefore, most partnership distributions are not separately taxed to the partner because if you were to tax it, it would result in double taxation. So back to the partnership tax return, you see where it says ordinary business income, 29,217. That's the bottom line profit from business activities. Well, these partners, if you and I were partners in this partnership, we would have to both pick up our share of the 29,217 and put it on our 1040 and pay tax on it. Whether it was distributed to us in the form of a distribution or not, we would still have to pay tax on that profit. Let's try this question. A and B are equal partners in a partnership. In the first year, profit of 100,000 was earned. All right, so what does that mean? We'll stop there for a second. If the partnership earned 100,000 and A and B are equal partners, that means that A has to pick up 50,000 on A's 1040 and B has to pick up 50,000 on B's 1040 and pay tax on it. So let's read on. Partner A received a distribution of cash during the year of $10,000. Partner B received no distribution. How much income does partner A report on 1040 from this partnership? So they're asking about the partner who received the $10,000 distribution how much income to pick up on 1040. Well, we said that half the 100,000 is going to be taxed to partner A, that's 50,000 right there. What about the distribution? How much of that $10,000 distribution does partner A have to pick up on 1040? None of it. Because it's assumed that the 10,000 distribution was only taken because there were profits of 100,000. And the profits are already going to be taxed to A and B, 50,000 each. So if you were to tax the $10,000 distribution, you'd be double taxing it. And then we said that there's no double tax in partnerships. So the answer, how much income does partner A report on 1040? 50,000, letter A. It would have been the same as if there were no distribution. So choice A is correct, $50,000. Partner A picks up 50% of the $100,000 of profits earned by the partnership and partner A must pay tax on that 50,000 whether or not distributed. So the cash distribution of 10,000 that's assumed to be from the profits and the profits are already being taxed on partner A's 1040. So to tax the 10,000 distribution would result in double tax and you tell the examiner that there's no double tax on partnerships. Now what if they would have asked about partner B? and partner B received no distribution, but you would tell the examiner that partner B would still have to report $50,000 of income, whether or not distributed, because B was a partner and 100,000 of partnership profits were earned. So back to the partnership return for Pizza Cafe here. If you and I are the two equal partners and the partnership income was 29,217, You'd have to pick up your half. I'd have to pick up my half, regardless of how much profit distribution we may or may not have received. The partnership doesn't pay any income tax on this. In fact, if you go all the way down to line 27, it says total balance due and there's nothing there because the partnership doesn't pay tax since this is a pass through entity. Where is it shown on this return how much each partner has to pick up and bring home to their 1040? That's going to be shown on this 1065 on schedules K and K1. Like what you see here?
If you want to see the rest of this video on partnership tax returns and be ready to pass the CPA exam, get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark. Go to cpaexamtutoring.com because the right teacher makes all the difference.